And joy, 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 everybody. This is Swami, the Orange Cowboy. And we're just um, getting things set up here to talk about mediumship, my mediumship event in New Jersey with Dr. Conti. And um, I don't see myself here. Do you see me on? The, oh, if you refresh the page. You, then you should be able to see me there. Although it looks black, usually I can see. Oh, there's Jean. Hi, Jean. Welcome to the live event. We're talking about a mediumship event that I'll be doing in New Jersey in September. When Dr. Conti is on the call too. Uh, Jean, can you tell me? Do you see me and hear me? Because I just see a, a dark screen. It's very different than what I'm used to. Sanidia from France is here. We are now uh, live. Uh, in, we're international. And Tracy, thanks for joining. Joy to all of you. Uh, if, if somebody could just say that you see me and hear me, that would be great. I'm also going to get on the internet. And, uh, it, and I'm going to hang up from you, Pat. Uh, just uh, so we... Before you do that... Yeah. Thanks, Gene. Lots I of thought I was on your Facebook, but I, I don't see you. Uh, uh, look like it, it's through the computer. Look at on when you look at the URL, it'll say facebook.com forward slash Swami Sadashiva Tirtha. Got it. There you go. I have it. Now, do you see me there? Hey, Cody. Oh. Hey, buddy. Cody lives nearby. Thank you, Sanidia. So, hey, Paul is here. How you doing, Paul? Nice to see you. It's been a long time. We are talking tonight. Uh, Dr. Conti is, we're trying to get him on the call here, live to interview me, uh, to talk to you guys. Uh, we He invited me to come down and do a mediumship event in New Jersey in September to a, a group of people. Danielle, hola, mi amigo. Daniel is out in Peru, and if you ever want to have an experience Come on, go out to Daniel's brand new paradise, and it's very cool. Great to see you here, brother. And Pat is here, Pat Robinson, the horse, the horse whisperer, the horse riding winning person. She wins all kinds of awards for riding horses. Joel is here. Thanks for joining us all. We're talking about mediumship tonight. And Pat, how are you doing there? Can I hang up, or can you see me yet? No. no. And you're at Facebook.com, Swami Sadashi Vatirtha. Let me, let me give you the link. I, I just got... <laughs> I'm going to give you the link. I'm going to give you the link in the chat, in the messenger. Okay. Do you see the link? I just sent that to you. So we're trying to get Dr. Conti who is, this I think might be his very first Facebook Live, and uh, to get him, <laughs> to just even to get to the Facebook page and see the event is, is a big thing there. Uh, hi, Pat. No, I'm talking, oh, Pat, <laughs> Pat Robinson. We're talking about Dr. Conti, Pat, Dr. Patrick Conti. That's who I'm trying to get on the line. Unless, Pat, you're also setting up an event for me in New Jersey that, we neither of us know about <laughs> that's funny so yeah so we're going to talk about september i think it's 21st is that right yes so saturday september 21st in uh, somewhere in ringwood area of new jersey Actually, it's going to be in fairfield that's what i was saying folks it's going to be in fairfield <laughs> sorry i just made the arrangements today awesome awesome so it's relatively close, though, Fairfield, yes. right? So we might just yeah. have you be on the audio, audio here because I have Mark. you right up to the, the mic. So uh, anything you want to say? We've got a whole lot of people here, uh, Dr. Conti, and um, we have already have 12 comments. Anything you want to talk about mediumship or ask me any questions? Um, folks, if you have any questions about mediumship or about the event, and we're going to talk a little bit about it, the value of mediumship, what happens if you've never been to a mediumship uh, reading before, a group session. Now, I've done readings 
for groups at Pat's house, uh, Pat Robinson, that is, not Pat Conti. And uh, who else might have had a reading from me? I guess that's it from the group here. Um, but if anybody's interested in me coming out to your way to do mediumships for your group, it's really cool. Mediumship, uh, there's two There's two parts for me for mediumship. The mediumship and and the the connection, the channeling. So mediumship is generally termed where the the medium, I'm the medium between you and your loved ones who have passed, okay? So I'm in the medium, I'm in the middle. And so if you've lost a, a, a grandmother, a parent, a, a, a pet, you know, a child, and I can sometimes tune in, I mean, I can't guarantee, but usually I can tune in and get that person or pet to come through and to talk to you. And the way it works is really cool. I don't just say, oh, your grandmother's here and she loves you. You know, that sounds nice. But how does how do either of us know if I really have your grandmother? So I do what, what is called evidential mediumship, where I have to bring three pieces of evidence that they give me, that they tell me that only you would know. I'll give you an example. I was doing a reading for a woman in, hey, Poonam, thanks for joining. Did a reading on the phone for a woman in Tobago. And and uh, so who knows that? Jean, Jean and I, I met Jean in, in Tobago. And so this woman, I was doing a reading for her, and I said, there's this woman here. She seems to be your grandmother. She's got a checkered black and white apron on. So she says, no, that doesn't sound like my grandmother. So I gave her a message anyway, and then she called me a few or emailed me a, a few days later. She says, you know, I just called my aunt. And my aunt says, yeah, my grandmother, her favorite apron was her black and white checkered apron. So it's like, whoa, okay, so you really were connected, you know? And once the connection is there, and even your pets will say things that only you would know about, and then you go, wow, this guy just gave me three pieces of information that how could anybody else know it but that person in me? <clears throat> and then once you feel, oh, wow, that's amazing. This is it. Then I ask that person or pet for what's the message you want to share with you. Now, what's so beautiful about mediumship is that people have emotions for various reasons. So sometimes they just miss the person. And if that person says this happened, remember when this happened, that alone just heals their heart from all the missing. Other people may feel guilty. They maybe had an argument and then that person died and they've been carrying that guilt with them. And then that person says, don't worry, you know, or whatever, uh, says something in there and then that heals them. Or somebody will come through and say, I know you're in school for becoming a lawyer. Keep it up. That's the right path for you. And that heals them. That changes their life. And life, your life is transformed just by the fact that somebody who's living in heaven on the other side, life after life, afterlife, that's why they call it the afterlife, has connected. That alone is such a charge of energy. I know it changed my life the first time it happened. And I've been lit up ever since. I've, I've been a different person ever since. And then other, so that's mediumship. And then the other thing that happens for me is what I call channeling. And channeling is where angels or your, your archangels or your divine guides, your higher, higher energy spirits, you know, your parents or your parents. And if your father wasn't good in math, and he comes through and he gives you some math advice. Now you still wouldn't want to take it because he didn't have a lot of math experience. But if you have, say, an archangel come in and share some information with you about your life, your life purpose, well, that's a whole nother level of amazing, right? And and quite frankly, that I really love when that happens because it, it it's a it's a bigger level of our life experience. And so that's the kind of things, between those two things, that's what you can expect in a group mediumship reading. And what it's, some people call it platform mediumship or group mediumship, 
or gallery readings. Anything you want to ask or add to that, Pat? I think that's that's very good. It reminds me, I don't know if people remember, the program on TV in the room years ago with John Edward. Yes. And he would have an audience, and he would uh, I guess, uh, speak to people's beloved uh, loved ones that had died. Yeah. And one always wondered, we always questioned, well, maybe they knew something about these people before they got to the audience. Yeah. How could it really be true? A lot of, of well, obviously, there's a lot of chicanery going on. The sure, sure. Mediumship. And uh, I just want to say one thing. I've known Swami G okay. for, oh, my God, 25 years or so. Wow. In fact, he was my mentor for Ayurveda. That's how I That's learned right. Ayurveda from Swami G. <laughs> and through him, uh, I was able to get a PhD in Ayurveda besides graduating from his school. And I wrote a book yeah. and uh, Ayurveda and modern medicine. And I always found Swamiji to be extremely genuine. He's not the kind of a person that would try to trick people. He was always very, very straightforward, very honest. And when he says he could do something, I believe it yeah. because uh, I been with him for many many years and I know the kind of person he is so I, I like to dispel any kind of doubt that people have about his ability he, he has so much talent he, he really amazes me and I, I think it would be uh, wonderful if you could channel the people's guardians the spiritual guardians and their masters yeah yeah this is something that i think a, a lot of people don't consider in their physical lives but we carry a message with us we are born with a purpose and a lot of times we forget about our purpose or we discard it yeah and it helps to have your your spiritual guides reiterate that kind of purpose in your life and it brings you back down to where you really should be in your life and how you should be behaving and how you should be carrying out your purpose not only for yourself but also in relationship to other people and then, uh, then we have to get into things like forgiveness. Yeah. Oh, that's forgiveness a good one. of oneself first before you can forgive others. Yeah. And that could be very difficult for people, but if it comes from a, yeah. a spiritual guardian, yeah. it carries a lot more weight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Either they could deny it that such a thing exists, or it might get them on the right track. The other problem is we encounter nowadays so much drug use, mm. alcoholism, people trying to escape, people become steeped in their second chakra, chakra that when it's out of control leads to all kinds of addictions. And this is the area that people can ascend above. And I think that yeah. whether it's uh, channeling through uh, an ascended spiritual guardian or actually speaking to someone, a beloved person that has passed, yeah. helped get us on our feet and get yeah. a point that us, point us in the right direction. I think uh, there's so much that can be learned and so many people can be helped. And uh, I, I also w worry about the poor military people that come back from war. Yeah. How many of these people committing suicide? And, daily, on a daily basis. And, and it, it's frightening. And I think maybe this kind of an intervention 
would be extremely helpful for them. There are so many uses, medical uses, and utility for using your kind of intervention, I think. It's a wonderful thing. And the people I've spoken to are very, very excited to have you come out and, and speak. But I don't know if you're going to be able to speak to everyone. Yeah, that's a really great question. And um, I'm just posting the, the, the page. You could read more about it. Uh, let me say that. And let me say hello. There's a lot of people coming in. Um, Giselle and Robert from uh, Tobago. I've just been talking to a lot of folks from there. They want me to come back and visit. Thank you guys for joining. Um, Pat Robinson, I, who I did do a group mediumship, she's writing here. She says, the sessions are fun and interesting and that uh, I made a believer out of two non-believer friends of hers. They didn't believe in mediumship till I started saying things about their loved ones. And they go, holy cow, that's true stuff. So thanks, Pat, and thanks, uh, Pat. My two Pats here tonight have have stood up and, and test, did testimony for me. <laughs> and uh, let's see who else is here. I, I said hi to Poonam. And, um, yeah, Robert, great to see you here. Robert's a really good graphic artist and editor, and he does all that uh, kind of work out in Tobago. And uh, Giselle, his mom, has some apartments for rent. So if you ever want to have a really great experience, uh, contact me and I'll hook you up with them. And she has a great restaurant too. Yeah, uh, we'll talk. We'll, we'll connect after this, Robert. That'd be great. Uh, so, so one of the things, um, the, okay, so what did you just ask me about? Oh, yeah, so, so what happens in the structure? Oh, hi to Joe Davis as well. Uh, one of the, the, the way the event works is that we have a do an hour and I, it, if there's like 30, 40, 50 people or whatever, 100 people, obviously can't get to everybody. Uh, I do as many as I can in an hour and then we'll take a break and then actually Dr. Conti will, is agreed to do a guided meditation. And then after that, we'll take a break and then we'll talk about the mediumship. And if there's time, you know, answer your questions, what happened, what's going on, how does it work? And then if there's time, I'll do as much more readings. So while it's true, not everybody may get a personal reading. Every reading that happens in front of us heals us in some way. It's for us on some level or for somebody we know. And it's a beautiful experience because we feel the other people healing. We start healing. And it's really a group experience. So even if you don't get the personal experience. Now, what I am offering is also is afterwards for if you wanted to do like a VIP um, sign up. You could sign up for the event. And then you could also do a VIP after event where I sign copies of my book and take selfies with you. And then we're going out to dinner for anybody who wants to join on the VIP level. So there will be some more opportunity for one-on-one -on -one or smaller group uh, getting, getting together that way. Uh, what else, Pat, do you want to share or talk about? Oh, folks, if you have questions for me or for Dr. Conti, just type them in. I appreciate everybody putting in their comments in, and I'm reading them all. And uh, Robert has put in a couple of graphics because he's a graphic artist. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I was just talking to Francis and um, in, down in Trinidad. So, and my neighbor, I, I'm working in the health food store down here in town. And the lady who runs the day spa, she's from Trinidad. So it's like making me homesick to get back to visit there. <laughs> So if you guys set up an event for me, I'll come down and do some mediumship over at the Carrywack or someplace like that. Pat, how about you? Anything you want to say or share or ask? or? Well, I, I just got onto your oh, good. website and yeah. I see the, uh, the angel. Yeah. Which is beautiful. Yeah. I love that. Okay. Uh, messages from heaven. I think that is fantastic. Um, okay. 
Yeah, folks, if you go to, good. let me give them this website again. If you yeah. want to look at the event, here it is again. And we talk more about, you'll see pretty much what's happening at the event. Saturday, September 21st from 2 to 5 in uh, Fairfield, New Jersey. And it's not the site's not quite set up. You can't register yet tonight, but I will make that happen very quickly. It talks about me and my background in mediumship. And then, uh, as I said, doc, there's a, we'll have a picture of Dr. Conti there. And he studied Ayurveda with me back in 2002, 2003. What, what year about was that? Long time back. Actually, I guess it was the, around 1999, like that. Wow. Wow. Uh, actually... I, yeah, probably, I graduated. Probably. Yeah. And, uh, I completed the, uh, the certification program in April 2000. Okay, so that makes sense. started in oh, the late 90s, around 98, right. 97, something like that. So he's a certified Ayurvedic practitioner from my school. Then he went on to get his PhD in Ayurveda, and he wrote a book on Western medicine analogies, or par not analogies, parallel to Ayurveda. And then he went on, or even before that, he studied the chakras and the angels and uh, what other uh, hypnosis. He's a master hypnotist. What else you got there that you're I'm leaving out? Well, very interesting. Uh, I did study hypnosis, and part of that hypnosis was studying and performing hypnosis for past life regression. Ah. Now, as it was sold to us originally, uh, well, I, I think you know my background. I was Catholic, and we we're not supposed to believe in reincarnation. <laughs> <laughs> and I was taught uh, past life regression by a Catholic nun. Wow. The three men are <laughs> all Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, this is, this is heresy. How could you make us? Do this well i say, would say always but just suspend disbelief oh. and go along with it and we use it for therapy oh. so it was amazing how much it did help people by going to a past life mm. what's the old script that we use a therapy script for people when they have difficulties in this life take them back to the life where this problem began leave something from this life there, emotions, whatever it might be, and bring back something from their previous life to this life to give them courage and help. Mm. And uh, I, I also did past life regression on group of people. And sometimes they don't understand what's going on or they can't put things together. But then a day or two later, they'll yes. come to me and they'll say, oh, now I know what, what I was thinking about, what it was all about, and this is and how it really helped me now. Yeah. That, that's I mean, thing. that's so true that even sometimes I'll say something, like I was saying earlier about uh, this woman who's in Tobago, and I said, You're, I see a lady, I think she's your grandmother, she's wearing a black and white apron. She goes, oh, no, that's not true. And then her aunt says, yes, it is true. <laughs> so... <laughs> That's, that used to happen with uh, John Edward. Yes, yeah. He would come back to him and say, oh, you were right. Yeah. They would deny what he was saying. No, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. And then they would speak to somebody, a relative, and they were they were the ones that were wrong. And then they realized that what he was saying was true. Yeah, I've and, done readings where I'd say something to someone and they'd say no, and then their friend is sitting next to them going, yes, don't you remember that happened? <laughs> 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 that that is amazing. When something like that occurs. Another thing that I'm going to be working on coming up is life between lives. Oh, uh, I want to uh, perfect my technique for bringing people back to the previous life, oh. and then bring them forward after they died mm. in the previous life. Bring them back to this spiritual energy wow before they come to this life oh okay and that's something which 
you might even be consider, considered to do as well. Yeah, yeah. With with uh, with your gift, I, I think it would be very very easy for you, and you'd have to find a way of of melting that into some sort of a program. Well, I have done readings for people. I, there's, I was in New Jersey once, and I was doing a reading for a woman, and all of a sudden Jesus was there, and uh, Jesus was saying, when I needed somebody to come to earth, she stood up and says, I'll do it without even asking a question. And Jesus himself was like in tears over how devoted she was to him. I started getting in tears, and she started getting in tears. It was like... I said, I see you with Jesus, and you said, I'll do it, and you just jumped in. You know, so there was that energy before moving into this new life, and it it changed all of us. You know, it changed both of us. Really? Yeah. It's, it's, it, there's so much more to this life. So much. To our energy part of our lives, the mind, body, spirit part of our lives that we totally divorced from ourselves we don't consider it because we don't try to open the door to it and i think but you gonna what you are going to be doing is going to open the door for a lot of people to realize that there's a lot more to this life than just the physical aspect of our lives yeah friends you know if you look at that website um my swami sadash or orangecowboy.com forward slash mediumship dash nj and right at the top you see this uh this statue of of an angel and it evokes such a deep feeling in my heart and i said pat which of these pictures do you like and he said i like that one too if you just look at that picture you're going to feel the theme of what's going to happen at this event the heart and the love and the heart the connection with your angels uh, they're going to come through really strong at this event. That's what they're telling me. And it's just, I just, my heart is getting overwhelmed just looking at that picture. So if you look at orangecowboy.com forward slash mediumship dash NJ. And we have a question, a really good question. Poonam asks, is it possible for you to help figure out with a family member who is certainly hurting in many ways? But they get mad when most family with most family for no apparent reason that the family can even understand. He will keep hurting everyone who tries to help him. So yeah, Poonam, this is one of those things that we could go into and ask for family members or higher angel angels or uh, guided you know, guardian angels and um, ascended masters to come in and say what's happening. Possibly even they'll do a healing because being a healer as well, I ask them to heal the person. And, uh, and yeah, so that is a very, very uh, huge relief. And if you act as this surrogate, meaning if you say, I will stand in as if it were this person, then the messages come to you and then they just translate right through to the, that other person's heart and soul. And it's pure love that comes from the angels and the guardian angels and the, and the ascended masters. So there's not even the question, do we have to ask for permission? It's just pure love. And it's pure, I mean, pure love. It just, it's like the sun, the sun shines on everybody. So uh, that's a great question. Folks, if you have any other uh, questions like this or about, about the event or mediumship or anything, that would be, uh, just put them in here and thank you Poonam, for asking that's a really good question robert says glad to see you would love to get a hang of your book okay um sounds good i've got a couple of books i'm not sure which one um they're all on amazon uh, ayurveda encyclopedia uh, the ayurveda primer 21 days of joy the stress-free college student and i then maybe that's it. Oh, and the Bhagavad Gita for Modern Times. Those five books are available right now. And you can go and look for Dr. Patrick Conti, and I believe he has two books on Amazon? Yes. And yes. Converging Paths of Ancient Ayurveda and Modern Medicine. 
Okay. It's one, and the other is mysteries of life, death, and beyond. Okay, so that's what, and that's what we're talking about here: the mysteries of life and death and beyond. So uh, I'm going to share a story when I about my mediumship because I was sitting at home a few summers ago where I was walking around outside and on the fence post, I saw this really fat bird, really fat bird. I never saw a bird that big and fat. A couple of days later, I'm in the house and that bird is back. So this time I was able to pick up my binoculars. And when I looked, it was an owl. I'd never seen an owl in my life, and here it is in daylight, broad daylight. It's sitting right in front of my window. Now, I know mystically owls are supposed to be very symbolic and mysterious and talking about death and spiritual things, but I, it, I didn't have any particular thoughts in my head, so I just put it on the back burner. And then a few days after that, I was just sort of flipping around the Internet, and I happened upon a TV show called Monica the Medium, I think it was called. It's about a college girl who's a medium, and she was doing readings for people just all on the street. And I wasn't really sure what a medium was or you know what they did, but when I saw how much she healed people just from connecting to loved ones, I was, I was in tears. I was so moved by it. And then Spirit said to me, you can now go deeper into your mediumship which was such an amazing opportunity for me. I just ran out basically and spent the summer, half the summer at the Lilydale, which is the mediumship camp in New York State. And it's one of the top two in the whole world. And I studied with some of the top, top mediums. Some of them I've had their own TV shows, Lisa Williams, Tony Stockwell, and um, James Van Prague. And um, it just, they really just showed me how I could do this professionally, how I can on demand help people with the gift. I had the gift, but they showed me how to use it and to, uh, I'm, I'm forever grateful to all of them for that. And even if you look actually on my Facebook page, if you look to the left of what, of this live stream, you'll see a picture of me with Lisa Williams right there during one of our classes that she was teaching. And I may, yeah, so, is a really, really emotional. I just love mediumship. And actually, even more than that, I love the channeling because I it just comes through me and I don't have to think about anything. I just say what comes through and uh, people, lives change. And um, I'm going to post some t uh, testimonials, but you've heard one from Pat, Dr. Conti, and you've heard a testimonial from Pat Robinson, the two Pats and the two testimonials tonight. <laughs> So let me see if there's anybody else who is, have any messages here. Henry is joined. Thanks for joining. And Susan is joined. And Kristen is joined. Thanks all for joining. Uh, Poonam says, how do I set up time with you? Yeah, for me personally, uh, PM me here, Poonam. And um, I'll go back over this and PM you as well. And then we could talk about doing a session. I do do some private one-on-one -on -one sessions if you can't make it to Jersey. And I'm happy to do that with, with anybody who's on this call. If you're here taking your time to listen to this event, I will make the time. Yeah, it's a little bit far away right now. You sound like you're off in the distance. I can't. I can't hardly hear you. Can, are you on? Uh, okay. There. There you go. I Perfect. Have you, I have you on now, alive. Oh, okay. On okay. The computer. Yeah. Turn. Okay. Turn off the sound okay. on the computer, or we could turn off the. Uh, well, let me see if I could bring you in. Let me see if I could bring you in. Oh, you're on the computer. Um. Let's see what what just happened. There. Yeah, so if you could just turn the sound okay. down off your computer. Yeah, there's a there's a delay, folks. So you hear you're hearing. What you, this is like deja vu. If you said, "Didn't I just hear that?" You did just hear that. It's not deja vu. It's deja iPhone. So. 
Uh, Pat, if you could just turn the sound off your computer, please, that would be really great. Okay, any other questions you folks have about mediumship or about the event? It will be in New Jersey. It will be in Fairfield, New Jersey. And uh, I know the website says Fairfield or Ringwood, but that's how fast the information is changing. Uh, Dr. Conti got a place in, in Fairfield. Saturday, September 21st from 2 to 5 in the afternoon. And for those who want even more time with Dr. Conti and myself, I will be doing, uh, we'll be doing uh, uh, selfies, uh, book signings, and even coming out to dinner with us at maybe a good Indian restaurant or a good Italian restaurant. And Dr. Conti knows that area better than me, so we'll pick a good place if you want the VIP session. So... You can look at this page, orangecowboy.com forward slash mediumship dash NJ. And I'm going to post it here in the session. Let's see, where are we? There we are. And uh, we'll paste it in there. And for those of you like Poonam, if you want a one on one session because you can't make it to Jersey, just let me know. Let me see if anybody else has commented. I got 23 comments. This is great. So that does not show me. Val is here. I see Val Gaspi is here from Long Island. And uh, let's see. Who else did I say hello to? Everybody. Oh, AJ is here. AJ does a really great podcast interview called My Seven Chakras. So he's interviewed some really, really top people in the country, in the world. Uh, he's interviewed uh, the author, I'm trying to think of her name, Happy for No Reason is her book, is the number one book. I believe she was in The Secret. So she's a pretty big name person, and he's interviewed really, really great people. It's a great show, so tune into AJ, uh, My Seven Chakras. Check that out. And let's see, I think I've said hello to everybody else. Anything else for you that uh, you think people want to know about or need to know about, Pat? I will have to post a map, the directions to get to the facility. It's, it's on, it's right off Route 46, close to Route 80. And it's uh, it's next to the Fairfield Airport. Oh, but I will post the map with directions. Yeah, and we'll put it on the exactly website. How to get there. We'll put it on that website too, so people can have it all right on one page. That'll be great. So I see that the the number of people has sort of leveled out, and I've run out of things to think about talking about. <laughs> I've shared some stories, of personal stories, of my mediumship personally for me as well as for my clients and some of you have shared some testimonies about my work um, that's a funny word work when you talk about mediumship and channeling and we've got some questions that you folks answered asked and I answered and Dr. Conti's brought up a, a number of really good points so basically the first hour I will do the mediumship and the channeling and the second, we'll take a break, and then Dr. Conti will do a guided meditation. We'll take another break, and then we'll come back. We'll talk about mediumship, and you can ask questions about what happened and how it happens and good things like that. And if there's time, I'll do as many more mediumship channeling as I can, as time allows. And that is that will be a three-hour total session from 2 to 5. And then for those of you who want to take the VIP option, afterwards we'll, we'll, we'll sign uh, books. Well, everybody who gets a book, and can, I'll get a signed copy. But if folks want to go out to dinner with us, then that would be the VIP event as well. I anticipate that this would be the first of many events like this. Very cool. Depending on your stamina. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I get energy from this because the more people that are helped and feel lighter, the whole world becomes lighter. And that's why I'm on this planet. In fact, when I was at, uh, hello, Sarah, who just joined in. Thanks for joining us. 
when I was at Lilydale studying the mediumship, I was in the audience and the medium asked me if I wanted a reading. And she said to me, when you were a child, you drowned twice and you went to heaven and you got you brought the light of heaven back. And after the first time, you needed more light. So you drowned and you got a second batch of light and brought it back. And I'm thinking for maybe five minutes about this. And then I, it dawned on me, this goes back before second grade because we moved. So before second grade, I had neighbors facing and their houses were across the street from one another and they both had above ground pools and i fell under both of those pools and my eyes open and i like freaked out next thing you knew somehow i was just pulled right you know just like popped right out of the water so i never thought that i had died but it must have happened in a flash because as soon as they told me this and i realized it happened it was like oh my god i did go to heaven i did have that light I did get connected to heaven. And I was always like kind of miserable in some ways as a child. It was like nothing ever happens to me, which was thinking that I nothing spiritually ever happened, but it did. And once I woke up to that, as I said, when I started this uh, talk tonight, I was lit up. I was a different person. I came back and people said, you're a totally different person. Hey, Surat is here from New York City. He's a great filmmaker and he's a, a virtual reality specialist good to see you here Surat. so Surat and sarah we, we've been talking and uh, Kristen, and susan some of the folks who came on a little later there will be event that dr conti is putting together for me in new jersey a mediumship event which i'm calling messages from heaven and I mean, if you look at the page orangecowboy.com forward slash mediumship hyphen NJ, you'll see a beautiful picture of an angel statue. And if you get a feeling from that, I'm telling you that's what the angels are saying. It's going to be such a heartfelt event. Your angels are going to just flood your heart. And it's going to be, it's going to be, they're saying it's a different kind of mediumship reading. It's a healing mediumship um festival really it's it's going to be a little bit i don't know what it's going to be till they do it but they're saying it's going to be very interactive everybody's going to be involved so that's really i think it's going to be a different kind of a uh it's not your it's not going to be your standard mediumship platform reading so they're telling me this as i'm speaking to you it'll be in new jersey saturday september 21st from 2 to 5 p.m from two to three, I will do the readings, the mediumship and the channeling. Uh, we'll take a short break and then Dr. Conti will do his guided meditation. We'll take another break so you can stretch your legs and we'll come back and we'll just have a conversation about what happened and the changes that happened for you and really just help you sort it out and understand how to take it, how to use it and how to go home as a changed person and how to live the life of your dreams and how to live with joy and and how to live with your angels and your ascended masters and any messages that you've gotten from heaven from your loved ones including your pets and those are some of the best best readings when the pets come in we're so attached to our pets for some reason even somehow more than our humans <laughs> so uh let's see any last questions thank you all for being here oh dr cassipit is here dr ray is here and um we've just been talking about an event in new jersey and you go down in new jersey a lot dr ray so saturday september 21st from two to five dr conti is hosting a event with me to do mediumship and channeling and it's called messages from heaven and it'll be in fairfield new jersey and we we're just talking about mediumship today what it means and the value of it and what the event will look like how it'll flow and as as i was as i every time i go back and look at this picture of the angel they just start telling me more about the event. So they're saying, everybody, uh, don't don't worry. Everybody's going to get involved and everybody's going to get some sort of reading. 
And I, it sounds like they're even going to train you guys in some way. So you're going to get to learn how to do some of this. Uh, it's all in their hands. I work for them. They're the boss. <laughs> Dr. Kasper's on a plane now, so he's flying up there with the angels. So there you go. So very cool. <laughs> Dr. Ray's up there with the angels in the airplane. So, yeah, this is going to be an event like none other. That's I don't know what the event is going to be, and that's fine with me. I mean, I know what I can do, and I can tell you what they're telling me at any given moment. But I see small groups breaking up into groups of people and having uh, small um, breakout sessions where everybody's going to get to do some work. Everybody's going to get some messages. So it's it's really uh, it's starting to uh, – I'm getting chills up my spine as, as they show me what's going to happen. And everybody's going to transform. So I'm real excited. I'm so grateful to Dr. Conti for making this offer, for offering to – host me down there and also grateful for him to agree to do his guided meditation for you guys because he's studied this a lot for a long time and uh, you will change even alone just from that guided meditation so i'd like to thank you all dr conti do you have any last uh, questions or comments or anybody else have any last questions or comments City in New Jersey is Fairfield, northern Fairfield, New Jersey. Fairfield, yes. It's near the Caldwell area, Caldwell, Livingston. It's near the Caldwell, Livingston area. Area. Yeah. And um, it's, it's, I'm going to. It's right I, next to the Fairfield Airport. It's on the Sake Avenue okay. in Fairfield. So it's right near the Fairfield Airport. Right. We'll, it's, get, it's, we'll get a map out onto the website. And I will post one here. I'll post the map here after we end the show. Very good. And one last thing, I one comment I just wanted to make is that I found by talking to the my spiritual guardians and guides mm. that they like to be thanked. Mm. And once you express gratitude towards these spiritual guides and your guardians, Things in your life begin to change. Once we accept them into our lives and allow them to be more involved in our lives, yeah. things get better. And But always remember to show gratitude. Like uh, Cicero said, gratitude is not only the parent of all, it's not only the greatest of all virtues, it is the parent of all. Yeah, beautiful. And that's extremely important to remember. But we'll carry this on. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do this again. On. Yeah, we'll yes. do some. We'll do some more live events as we get closer. We'll have more information, and um, yeah, maybe we'll have some special special things to talk about as well. I was just wondering if the people that have joined us yeah if saturday afternoon is a good time for us to host this event okay if there's a if they prefer a sunday or another day but uh, it oh. seems like saturday would be okay for for us but yeah. i'd just like to get as many people as possible to attend yeah. we want to pick the right date and day yeah for the 21st in september and everybody should be back from vacation right. by then, mm -hmm. hopefully. Yeah. And most people will be able to attend. Yeah, so folks who are in the chat room here or watching now or even after this airs, it would be so great if you say that, and obviously we're not going to hold you to it that if you can't make it, but is Saturday the 21st a good day for you? And especially is 2 to 5 a good hour, a good segment for for you would you prefer sunday afternoon uh, instead or saturday night um let us know so because we want to make this accessible to the most people make it as convenient as possible to you uh, it's for me anytime somebody says talk to heaven for me that's a convenient time for me um, for you you've got families you've got careers you've got uh, all sorts of responsibilities so what works best for you, we will work around your schedule as best we can. 
So that sounds great. So we've been on for 50 minutes. That's pretty cool. Uh, thank you all for joining. Uh, for those who are watching after the event has gone on, type your comments in if you have any questions. I and or Dr. Conti will answer them. And um, I'll put the link on here again. You will see the site. Uh, it's just I have the first draft up. I will set it up to register and um, let us know the best time and the day that you'd like to have this event in New Jersey in at late September. Thank you all. Thank the angels. Thank the guardians. Thank the ascended masters. Thank all of our loved ones in heaven. Thank you, Dr. Conti. And thank all of you for being here. And thank me. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Swami G. Hey, Michelle. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. Yeah, well, it's 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 such a joy. I my heart is overflowing with joy for this event. I love you all so much. And anything I can do. Thanks for all the hearts there. And um I just I'm real excited. I just looking at that picture of the angel. They're telling they're 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 so excited. So, uh, Michelle, we're just winding down. Uh, this is an event. I'll be offering a psychic medium, uh, a mediumship event in, in New Jersey in late September. And you can uh, look at the link. I'll put the link in here like one more time. I think that's it. Yep, there it is. And thank you all for tuning in. Really a lot. I hope to see a lot of you are from the New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania area. And um, those of you who want to fly in from Tobago, I will be very happy if you do that. I'll be very amazed if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, she'll come in by horse, and Daniel will come in from Peru by uh, flying carpet, perhaps. And Cody's right in my neighborhood here as Pat is, so they might go down with me. And Jean is up in Canada, so she might come down by moose and sled and Sanijas in France. So he may come in with the foreign legion. So thank you all so much. Uh, Dr. Conti, thank you so much for everything. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Okay, friends. Lots of love. Angel wings of joy, joy, joy. We'll do it again soon. Yeah.